seen my face before then I'm Connie this is my little channel thank you for clicking on this video if you like what you see then please 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 subscribe it makes me super duper happy you can also comment down below and like this video also just like a little side note <laughs> In this video, my camera is balanced on a Heroes box, a shoe box, and a M&S Rocky Road little mini bites tub thing. So sorry if the camera shakes again. Still need to get a tripod. We'll do that soon. So this video is going to be a story time. I'm going to record two videos today. One story time and one that was suggested by one of you guys, but I'll do that one after and you will see what that is. So this video, like I said, is a story time. Of the time me and Ladus went on holiday together and he seen a sea monster. We went skinny dipping and got kicked out of the hotel pool because drunk Connie is a mess. If you'd like to see that and find out more about that I guess then just continue watching this video. Okay so in September me and Ladus went on our first little couple holiday together for around four days to Tenerife. And when we was there, I think we was coming back from breakfast or something, and there was one of those little shops where you can buy tickets for things. So we brought uh, to go scuba diving and to go see a drag show. So on the day of us going scuba diving, we had... We didn't have anything. On the day of us going scuba diving, we was waiting for what we thought would have been some, maybe, I don't know, a company van or something, don't know, but uh, this little car pulled up, like this old looking car, I don't know what car it was, but it just looked a bit dodgy, and then this small Italian man come out with like long hair, very hippie looking, he was really, really cool, but at first glance we thought, definitely gonna die, definitely getting kidnapped, this is it. We didn't die or get kidnapped, so hey. So we got there and the guy was actually really, really cool, he was really, really nice, we picked up another couple on the way, and we went. When it was mine and Laid's turn, we got all our stuff on. I don't have a picture of that because if you have been scuba diving, then you know that the equipment is really, really heavy. And I know my little person could not carry that. And I nearly fell down the stairs because we had to walk down some like, little steps to go into the sea to do it. So we did that. And uh, if, I, if I can remember correctly, you go on your back when you get into like, deeper water. You go on your back and then you go down. So I was having a great time. We couldn't see too much that day because apparently it got the waves are really like what's the word? It was really rough, really rough. Yeah, so it was really rough. And uh, some of the instructors didn't actually want to go, um, but we did. So that was a bit alarming. After they only told us that after, so could have died. But uh, it was really fine. Only seeing like you know some fish and some sand and some rocks. But I just really enjoyed doing it because I don't like water not that I don't like water it's just like the thought of an open ocean scares me and I did it and I was really proud of myself from doing it so I finished and you know got up and um stopped scuba diving and <laughs> just a little side note as I was getting out of the sea because the equipment was so heavy and the waves were hitting me in my legs I fell backwards on my butt and I couldn't get back up, so this instructor was trying to pull me back up and it just weren't happening. It took a good 10 minutes for me to actually get up and <laughs> go and find Laid. So I'll go and find Laid and uh, he tells me his story. So I've got Laidus to tell his part of his sea monster story. Right, so... Like Connie said, this super lanky Italian guy. He was quite short, wasn't he? Lanky. He was taller than us. Yeah, I think anyone's taller than me. Yeah, I suppose. Um, but yeah, like like Connie said, we was expecting like this company like people carrier thing to pull up, and just a, a, a super hippie guy pulled up in his little Nissan, and just absolutely terrified. And when we picked up the other people. I was just like, oh my god, we're, we're, we're gonna get put into organ trafficking and like these strangers are gonna be the last people we talk to when they don't even speak the same language. Um, so that was terrifying. The, the, when we actually got to the place, the, the sea was just out of control and the one guy did say to me, I don't, you said he told you after. Oh, you told me after, you did. No, he told he told me before before we went in. 
So I was just like, okay, but I'm like I've paid. So we're definitely doing this. And um like Connie said, the the water was just ridiculous, like blurry, you couldn't see anything unless she was about two inches off the water. So I don't know where Connie went once we got in the water because she had her own instructor. Um, but I think because of the traumatic stress <laughs> and experience we had getting there, it, it, I, I, was just, I was just imagining things like, because like the, the sea does interest me, but it scares me at the same time. But I think because of the fear of possibly being kidnapped and like, Oh well, if we do go in, we're probably gonna die because of the the sea. Um, like I was just panicking, and it was the first time I've like ever used this scuba stuff. And you have to practice the way you breathe. So that is when you terrifying. yeah yeah, so everything just changes. Like the, your whole way of moving changes. So um, when I went down, like I was down at the bottom for like two minutes and saw some fish and stuff. But like in between like the bottom of the ocean and the top, it's just so blurry and there's so many massive like boulder things. And I was like getting used to it. And then like, cause the way you, you breathe, it like kind of spaces you out a bit. And for some reason, the, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't see the Kraken, but like, if you ever saw Pirates of the Caribbean when they're examining the corpse, it looked exactly like that and I was just, like if you've ever seen the movie Jaws when like the shark kills him in well tries to kill him, him him in the cage and there's like all the bubbles flying everywhere like I was going crazy and the, the, my instructor was just like you're right and I was just like no 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 get me up get me up <laughs> so um but I, I thought it was a sea monster but I'm pretty sure it was just rocks how did you see like what what did the sea monster look like to you I don't know, it just looked like the shape of it. It wasn't doing anything, it was still, but I, I just freaked out. <laughs> I freaked out and then I got up and then kind of got up about five minutes later. So you had a full blown panic attack over a rock? Yeah, but because of the way the sand and that was moving and the sea, because it was really rough, it just it just terrified me. I, I don't know. Just a little freak out. <laughs> That's when uh, Ladus came face to face with the Kraken from Pirates of the Caribbean. If you don't know what we're talking about, we'll put a video somewhere of the Kraken around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's Ladus' new friend. Yeah. The Kraken. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so after that traumatic experience, we finished and it was actually uh, really fun and really enjoyed it. But once we got back to the hotel, we needed a drink needed a beverage so we got ready and we went out and we found this little bar called Sax. it was the only metal bar in that area that we seen so we went in and it was really really fun they'd done cocktails and every cocktail you bought you got a shot and they had live music and this guy actually sounded like was it lemmy you can speak you can you can speak ask your question and they did live music and the guy who was, you know, with the band actually sounded like Lemmy from Motorhead, if you know who they are. So we was having a really, really good time and got really, really drunk. So after that place closed, I think it closed around midnight or something. The beach was literally a three minute walk from this place. We was just having fun on the beach, just like walking and stuff. And I was incredibly drunk, drunk incredibly drunk i'm not sure if laid was as drunk as me but he, he was pretty drunk and so i decided it would be a great idea to take all of my clothes off and run into the sea very drunk and somehow convinced laid to take all of his clothes off and run into the sea with me picture for proof so that was really fun then i wanted to go swimming but laid wouldn't let me because apparently you know i could drown and all of that stuff so then we had to walk back to our hotel we didn't walk back naked i think that's kind of illegal or frowned upon or a bit of both we put our clothes on soaking wet and we're walking around tanui for a little bit and we had a really really good night but i was absolutely steaming so we got back into the hotel room i think we bought a bottle of malibu in the room so we were still drinking that and stuff and i had a brilliant idea to myself which in my head was brilliant and then I look back at the video which I will play in a minute and think what the hell so in my head I was like I'm going to concoct this plan where I'm going to be absolutely hilarious and jump in the hotel pool because you could see the pool from our window so I said 
I will trick Lade into thinking that I'm going to do a little dance by the pool. So he records it. What? So I, I, I tell Lade, oh Lade, you know, record me, I'm going to do a dance by the pool. And he was like, cool. So just, here's the video. So yeah, I, I jumped in the pool. <clears throat> if you can't hear it, I, I go, come down or something like that. Lade comes down and jumps in. And the pool was actually warmer at night than it was in the day and then the security guard came and there was some Spanish security guard and he was trying to shout at us and we didn't understand what he was saying but he was basically get out the pool so he got shouted at and then the next day I felt like everyone was just staring at us and judging us because we were two very drunk adults in a pool could have died but didn't I feel like this whole video is consisting of, of like near death experiences but we did not die. So I hope you enjoyed this little story time. I thought it was funny. I hope you thought it was funny. If you didn't think it was funny then sorry. So like I said at the beginning if this is the first video you have seen of me then please subscribe. Check out my other videos if you like. Uh, please like, share, subscribe share with your mum, your sister, your nan, even your dog. If you haven't seen my last video I will link it down below and I will put it on the screen at the end and if you haven't seen the video I've done for my son Arlo who I lost at 25 weeks I'll put it over here somewhere. Uh, thank you for watching again I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>